Join us in this segment of Musky Mastery Outdoors as we venture out onto Big Fish Water and crack the code on some late summer slack water monsters. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> heading out to Big Fish Water. We ain't messing around today. We've gotten some nice fish in the boat this week. It's been a tough bite. We've got a couple new ideas we're gonna try today. And we'll see how it goes. I mean, I think, I think we could be on to something. So stay tuned. We're about to lay a beat down on these muskies. Under sunny, slack, calm conditions during the peak of summer, muskies can be extremely difficult to coax from their ambush spots. So our first move was to downsize to the 500 Blue tail Tinsel. The smaller presentation often triggers an instinctive following reaction out of lazy muskies, and this is sometimes all you need. Because if you can get a fish into the figure eight on super stained water, there is a good chance you might just be able to get that fish to strike. Take your time, dude. Take your time. Take my time, dude. Oh, baby! That's your biggest musky. That's your biggest musky. Yeah, that's my biggest one. You see, cameras are all rolling. Mike, that's a monster, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Congratulations, dude. Hey! Mike, that's your biggest hang. Let me get, make sure we get this net, dude. That's your biggest musky. Yeah. Of your life. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest musky of my life. The cameras are all rolling. Oh my, oh my god. god. Dude, that, was, that is a monster, man. That's, uh, that's your biggest fish. I barely saw her come in on the eight either. I, I caught a glance of her. My congratulations, dude. Oh, oh. my god. Dude. We, oh, guys. <laughs> that's why we do this. That's why we spend 16 hour days on the water a high five, for that feeling right there, dude. Thank you for the net, man. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable, man. I'm like shocked we, we did it. <laughs> it's just, dude, that is such oh. a tangle. Look at the size of that. Oh, oh man, guys, this has been the week of the figure eight. When the bike gets tough, you really got to be on your A game with figure eights. I saw this fish come in. She was deep, barely caught a glimpse of her. I went into that figure eight. She God. repositioned and she slammed the 500 grape flame. Absolutely slammed it. Congratulations on a trophy. Oh, thank you, dude. This is wow. amazing. All right, let's, man, let's get her back. Now, what's interesting about this, guys, is trophy fishing, small lures. I mean, tell them a little bit about 500 series that the Grape Flame here. The 500, and... yeah, 500 uh, Grape Flame Booker Tail. This bait has just been hot all summer, um, especially when the fish are not in a super positive mood. They're not really aggressive, and we're getting them up. You know, we're raising them on these baits. A lot of times they're coming into the figure eight, and that's when you really got to be on your you gotta game. You got to be on your Jedi, Jedi yeah. Master. I mean, game, if your yeah, figure maybe. eight is sloppy or you don't see the fish, because I barely saw that one. It was not, I mean, it was a little bit uh, lower down in the water column. It was not right at the surface. She was down there. I saw her, you know, just a flash of fish. I saw a reposition, and she just torpedoed on herself. My goal when fishing rock structure with a depth rider is to make contact with the hard bottom cover for the longest duration possible during the retrieve. When clicking and ticking, the goal is to finesse your deep diver along the contour of the rock structure without getting snagged. But every once in a while, you set the hooks into an interesting surprise. What? Bag, the bag for my subway? Yeah. Well, we got an anchor. Chaz just absolutely laid the coals into what we initially were hoping was a really big muskie. It ended up being an anchor that somebody left at the bottom of the lake. So that was really um, unfortunate. So, Chaz, how are you feeling? 
Uh, good. I feel actually fantastic drinking all this water for one thing. Um, you know, we still have these fronts kind of passing through. I think we're going to have another shot at a fish this evening. Uh, you know, I think we, we lost your muskie on the rocks. I think we got to go check more rocks, but also throw in a couple of our classic weed structures as well. One thing I focus on when cranking hard bottom structure is to emulate the different critters that live and feed among the rocks. Smallmouth bass, walleye, bullheads, and various species of suckers methodically work their way around the intricacies of the boulders, and I want to recreate this feeding behavior with my depth rater. Pay attention to my hands as I gently pump the deep diver along the rocky contour and ultimately trigger a nice muskie into striking. Either way, I'm cool. I don't care how it goes down. Oh, man. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Let's pull her over there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Sorry, Helms. <laughs> That was a close one. Oh, <laughs> dude, we got her, man. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. Swinging a miss on that first hey, try. It doesn't matter. We got her. <sighs> Holy crap, dude. That was <laughs> awesome. Grab the JBO. Yeah. Wow, baby, was that sick or what? Started. Mike, we got this. We got this rock pattern dialed in, man. Oh my god. It's really, it feels great to finally have it figured out because it's been so challenging. Oh, yeah, it has. But I really do think that we've got the pattern down now. All right. Um, Dude, this is a second nice really nice fish wow. of the day here. Oh my gosh, you're not kidding, man. Look at the size of that sucker. That's great. Beautiful musky. Guys, when they're on the rocks, cranking with a depth raider. Oh baby. Cranking with a depth raider is the way to go, clicking and ticking. Gorgeous fish, let's get her back. Man. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Couple things about clicking and ticking with depth readers. Obviously, uh, one thing for sure to mention here. You don't have to fish deep divers, but it's the combination of the two. Mike's throwing mm -hmm. up shallow on the top of the flat. I'm clicking the deep edge where those fish that are more neutral, they're not going to be running up to grab mm -hmm. the, the, the little 500. They'll grab the depth rater. But a uh, couple keys with the depth rater when you're fishing rock structure. One, don't over advertise. When you're ticking rocks, you do not want to just be pounding it and smashing it. You're finessing this lure mm -hmm. along the bottom. And uh, two, I would say, uh, tackle is really important. This is St. Croix's Legend Elite. It's their 8.6. Mike and I are both throwing the 8.6. It's probably, I would say, Mike, probably the most versatile rod in the Super in the versatile, lineup. yeah. Super versatile medium, rod. Medium heavy power, fast action, 80 pound test. And, um, you know, the neat thing about crankbait fishing is it really allows you to learn your structure as well mm -hmm. and you feel out the brake line. And it's, it's especially just deadly when you got two of us here. Yeah. One guy casting up on the flat, one guy casting the deep edge. I guess I want to mention one last thing. It's, it is the story of the summer. We're on water where the shallow bite is not hot. Mm -hmm. And we're moving fish on the deep, hard structure. Just awesome, man. Dude, crazy net job, but we got her. Yeah, we got we her. We got her, man. Let's go get another one. As the sun began to set in the distance, Mike and I continued to reminisce and celebrate the great afternoon of musky hunting we had shared together. We ventured out onto a body of water that we had been struggling on all season long, but we knew that if we were able to crack the code, the payoff would be big. We stuck to our game plan and were rewarded with some beautiful fish, a boat full of musky slime, and memories that will last a lifetime. We hope you enjoyed this segment, and as always, thanks for watching. Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products. And by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less.